Welcome back to Gear Daddy. I'm your host, Daddy Troy. Sunscreen's come a long way since we were kids. Now you have all these newfangled delivery mechanisms, and we're going to put them to the test today in our sunscreen showdown. whole week has been sponsored by OneStepAhead.com and we're giving away a gift certificate to OneStepAhead.com so stick around to the end of the program and I'll tell you how to get one. So I've divided all these bottles into four different categories. The first category are the kind in which you actually push and it sprays onto your child. The second is the kind that you squeeze onto your child. The third is a trigger mechanism and the fourth is the rub-on kind. The first thing I really like about these spray-on bottles is that you can spray them from any angle. Unlike the squeeze-on bottles, with these you can go up and down the legs, you can go on the arms it really doesn't matter what angle you go at so these spray bottles come in two different types this is a lotion spray and this right here is an an oil spray let me show you how they work let's start with a lotion spray the lotion spray you'll see how it goes on right here and you can see some white there so it's actually a lotion and then let's now do the other type which is more of an oily based type and it goes on without any whiteness at all one advantage to the lotion-based sprays is that the lotion-based sprays, you can actually see where it's been and where it hasn't been. It's a little easier to notice what part of the child has actually been sprayed. Now these were from Banana Boat. Okay, let's go ahead and test a similar product, which is Copper Tone for Kids. And Copper Tone for Kids also has a lotion-based one and an oil-based one. Let's check those out. This one right here is the Quick and Easy Lotion from Copper Tone. Ooh, that's a nice spray pattern on that one. Really nice and even. Copper Tone, quality product. And now we have the oily-based one right here. It has a much wider spray pattern. It also goes on really evenly. Really like the Copper Tone products. One other reason I really like the Copper Tone products is that you'll notice that with uh, this banana boat, I have to take the lid off, and that lid, first of all, is gonna get lost. Um, moreover, um, once it's inside your beach bag, uh, your kid's shoes are gonna press on it, and it's gonna go all over your set. With these right here, the really cool thing about the Copper Tone ones is that you'll notice that the cap twists and so you can close the cap and leave it inside your bag. Another great thing about all of these bottles is their form factor. Their form factor is very uh, narrow, so it can really fit into your bag quite easily. Also, they're not smushable, unlike these uh, ones in which you have to squeeze them to get them on. We've also got a new brand on the market. It's kind of a generic brand called Baby Sunscreen. Let's test this one. It also has the cap, which you're gonna lose. This one right here is a lotion spray, so let's see if we see some of the white on this one, and you do. It's got a pretty nice spray pattern, pretty wide. I'd give it a, a good on that. It looks a little bit more oily and smelly than the other ones. Whereas spray bottles allow you to get full coverage from any angle, squeeze bottles actually require that you put some possibly in your hand or actually touch the kid's skin, and some kids really don't like that. When you go to buy one of these, you want to judge the cap. The cap is the number one thing because it's going to come open, it might rip off. It's, if it's a flimsy cap, it's going to get um, squeezed inside your bag and it's going to go everywhere. So you really want to um, judge them by the cap. This one right here is again by Banana Boat. It's got a, um, a fairly good cap on it, a little bit flimsy. Here's another one I picked up. This is from Ocean Potion. And Ocean Potion has a really strong cap on it. You can hear that definitive pop when it opens up. It feels like a higher grade plastic. You've also got the standard old bottle which we led the show with in which you press down in order for it to come up. And let's do a, a few tests on these. For instance, here's this bottle right here. It's Copper Tone Kids SPF 50 and you'll see that oh comes out pretty fast. Let's do the Ocean Potion. A little bit more viscous. Next, here's a funky bottle by Hawaiian Tropic. Here's two new things by Copper Tone. This one's Water Babies, and it says Water Babies right on it. This one's Copper Tone Kids. And these come with a cool little carabiner, which then your kid could maybe hook onto his or her belt or bag if there are any sort of loops on their clothing. This also helps with buying with kids because it comes with a little trinket, and the kid then thinks of it as a toy and tends to, to hang on to it. Let me tell you a little bit about anything that says babies on it. It means babies over six months of age. Without fail, all of these say don't use them on any baby under six months of age without your pediatrician's recommendation. And finally, there's, here's a product by Aveeno Baby. Aveeno Baby prides itself in making products that are um, really good for sensitive skin. They're perfume free. Here's the uh, Baby Faces and Tender Places by Hawaiian Tropic. And what I really found humorous, it's got the lullaby fragrance. I like this delivery mechanism, really cool delivery mechanism because like most spray bottles in your kitchen, it has both a spray factor and a stream factor. Watch the spray factor, ready? Woo, big wide swath, look at that right there. 
and watch the stream. Here we go. You could stand all the way across the room and hit your kid with this thing. Ready? Boom. Smack right there. Finally, the last uh, technology we're going to look at. Dicks are made uh, for specifically for faces. Kids tend to be more amenable to allowing you to put this on their face rather than um, some sort of rub-in lotion. And you never want to put a spray onto a kid's face because it could get into his or her eyes. Well, that's all this week for our sunscreen showdown. If you have another product you'd like us to review, email me at geardaddy at dadlabs.com and tell me about it and we'll review it on the show. Remember, we're giving away a gift certificate to onestepahead.com. Onestepahead.com has this really great uh, Sun Smarties line of clothing. And while sunscreen's a great defense, clothing is an even better defense in order to keep the sun off of your kids. So in order to win that gift certificate, all you need to do is go to dadlabs.com, episode and tell me what you think this inkblot test looks like. And you'll be in the drawing for the gift certificate to onestepahead.com. That's all this week on Gear Daddy. We'll see you next week on dadlabs.com.